now to News Nation's media analyst, Colby Hall. Colby, I've been eager to break this one down with you. Um, as you know and as you watched last night, former President Donald Trump speaking in Bedminster, where Kelly just was after his first court appearance, touting his innocence and claiming he had every right to keep those classified documents. Um, I'm sure you weren't surprised by that since we've heard that from him time and again. Uh, but I'm curious what your big takeaways were from his remarks. Well, I mean, he, he basically, you know, had a lot there. The most newsworthy thing of the whole day yesterday, apart from what was behind closed doors, was his speech because he he, he sort of laid out his defense, right? And, um, you know, he basically, you know, accused this as a partisan witch hunt, which we've heard before, but he, he said a lot of newsworthy things. One was, you know, he said that he could take these boxes if he wanted, which isn't a defense necessarily, according to many legal experts. That's an admission because that's, you know, if he took the documents, that's just a federal criminal charge that he's under. But also, as Dan Abrams said right after the speech, that, you know, he said that he hadn't quite looked into the boxes. And he also, you know, doubled down on his threat to weaponize the Department of Justice if he takes, if he gets reelected by going after what he called the most corrupt president in U.S. history, Joe Biden. So it, it's all from his playbook of his best defense is a good offense. But it was very newsworthy. Uh, and I'm glad I watched it. Yeah, whether you like him or not, uh, he is uh, the former president and he's the top contender right now. So, of course, he's newsworthy. Um, uh, getting to how different networks and the media is is covering him right now. Several networks cut away from coverage after President Trump's court appearance in Miami, Florida, saying he was turning this you know, indictment into a spectacle. I want to take a listen to some sound first and then get your take on the other side. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He, this, he's trying to turn this and he's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. That's enough of that. We've seen it already. Yeah, CNN cutting it off. News Nation, by the way, took Mr. Trump's remarks in full last night. Um, Colby, do you agree with CNN and MSNBC's decision to cut away? Well, so what Jake was saying there was basically the footage that came from the, uh, the Cuban cafe that uh, Trump went to. So there's two issues here. One is, you know, CNN and MSNBC didn't take the speech at all, which was ironic because they were pretty self-congratulatory about that, that, you know, obviously Trump tells a lot of falsities and they didn't want to promote that. However, they were nearly wall to wall for the previous yep. 10 hours when there was nothing really happening other than his motorcade. And I think it was Audie Cornish on CNN made a very good point that, you know, the trip to the, to the restaurant and the motorcade we're all part of this sort of political theater designed by Trump to make him look statesmanlike and presidential. He's not a president anymore. Of course, he's a former president. And, you know, while, while CNN and MSNBC were really proud to say that they weren't going to take that speech, they went ahead and covered every second of every minute of every hour that proceeded when nothing was really, really happening. So I actually, Jake's a good friend of mine, and I, I, I think he's really smart, and he was wise to pull away from that. But, you know, the, the genie was out of the bottle at that point. And so, you know, it just shows the media doesn't really know quite how to handle a problem like Donald yeah, Trump. You make, you make a great he, point. He's, he's an actor. Yeah, you make a great point. Why cover it in wall to wall for 10 hours if you're not going to show the grand finale uh, and what the former president had to say? Colby Hall, as always, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.